Hello out there everybody. Welcome back. I'm back with another video. Today's video is uh, about Jeff Lynn. Okay, but let me back up a little bit. I was uh, reminded uh, by another VC member, Sam St. John. Him and I are Facebook friends. And he mentioned that uh, today was Jeff Lynn's birthday. The 30th today so I thought man I've always when I first I when I first read his post and saw that before I made this video I was thinking man I could just still remember the first two ELO songs that I heard as a kid now he was in a band called the move and currently I don't have any music by the move but I do have no, no, no. I'll take that back. I do have a double LP of the move. I just thought of it. And it's kind of like a, an album where it is, I think, B-sides, A-sides or something like that. I have that. And I really enjoyed that. But uh, he was a member of that band and a, and a previous band. And I can't think of the name of the band, but it was a record that came out on Record Store Day of another band he was in. So he's been making music for quite a while, but going back. So that's the purpose of my video. I wanted to give a little tribute, a little hats off. Happy birthday to Mr. Jeff Lynn. No, I've never met him personally. No, I've never seen ELO or him in concert. Um, I would have loved to have seen the concert of the uh, tour of the New World Record. I have that on DVD, but I couldn't find it because you get a tour book in it or stuff. But anyway, the first two ELO songs that I remember hearing on the radio was their version of Roll Over Beethoven, which I totally love their version of that song. It's just like they made it their own and claimed it and like took it to took rock music to another level. And I'm sure there's a lot of bands out there and artists who have done that. But I'm talking about uh, ELO and Jeff Lynn. And that was one of the songs. And it was real long. And the other song that I heard was, and the only way I could identify it as a ki young kid, pre-teens, was, hey, there's that song again with the telephone ringing at the beginning of it or in the in it and so whenever that song would come on i'd get all like put myself in a freeze mode because it was one of the best songs i ever heard and i love the way it sounded on radio and so um that was the second song i heard telephone line and i have a memory and uh from my mom rest in peace i remember on one of my birthdays she gave me this album on vinyl which is the uh, new world record and i love this record from beginning to end yes it's one of their best records um anytime i heard any of these songs or any elo record or new song like that it was like you know you're waiting for the you're anticipating you got this you can't wait. You're you're getting excited, like uh, the the sun's about to rise, and that's how their music uh, was to me. Was that ah, there's a new world out there with ELO music coming out, and that really just it just touched me in all levels and all senses that we have, you know, seeing, hearing, touching, you know, and so yeah, their music has meant a lot to me. Um, some of the, some, I do have a lot of holes in my collection of other ELO titles, such as like on the third day, which I think is another great record. But, uh, again, I'll say that and I've said that in several of my videos. Yeah. They wrote some songs that were like the soundtrack to my life. Telephone line, um, songs, uh, that just really uh, touched me, that really made me become a fan and see the genius of Jeff Lynn. Uh, he is a very good artist. Um, 
here's one of my other favorites. This is like the early ELO when they had, I believe, Roy Wood in the band. But this record right here is like all-time favorite. And I have this on vinyl, and I love this record from beginning to end. It's just, it's just totally something different and not expecting. Now, how I found out about this record as a kid, I bought one of those cheap versions of the entire album with a different cover different look and maybe a different title or something but then i found out that hey it's this album right here these come with bonus tracks i love them um probably most likely i'll be listening to them this coming weekend oh by the way happy new year or this coming new year and i wish everyone well and blessings i gotta show my other favorite this is one of my favorite double albums right here by ELO. And it's Out of the Blue. Great double album. You don't get too many double albums that are good from start to finish. This one was Turn to Stone, Sweet Talking Woman, and uh, Across the Border. And I believe this song, is it on this album? Yes. I believe this is a song that... Uh, Sam, now I might be that he posted was Wild West Hero. Such a good song. One of my other favorites on here is Birmingham Blues. I love that. Um, Standing in the Rain, uh, Night in the Sky, Starlight. I mean, now what I heard about this record that it was made somewhere in England on a farm, and the end result was. A double LP, I mean, that's pretty rock solid with me. So, that's all I wanted to really say in this video. Uh, wish a very happy birthday to Mr. Jeff Lynn. He's one of my favorite artists. Um, incredible. I don't have any of his solo stuff, like that one called Armchair or something. I, I don't remember the name, the full name, but... You know, later on down the line, let's just see what happens, but you never know. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and do this sh really short video and about Jeff Lynn and talk about how much the music of ELO uh, has meant to me, and it's meant a great deal. I mean, I would still continually buying it and rebuying it. In fact, um... One of the other albums that they did, I just want to touch that base on that, is an album called The Balance. I've, I always liked that record. It probably didn't do very well, but The Balance is another of one of my favorites. Secret Messages is another good album that I like. I read a long time ago that that was almost going to be um, a double album. That's the way I read it, that it had potential to becoming a double record but something you know things change and it became secret message messages which is a really good record I, i'm like i said rock and roll is what was that song they sang something about rock and roll is king that's a good song good pop rock song well anyway if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like my content uh that i do on my channel Please consider becoming a subscriber. And to everyone out there, have a great and happy new year. Take care, everybody.